All right, what's happening with your baby? It's Rax. What's going on with you? All right, so somebody asked me how often should they get their hair cut? Somebody, somebody dropped a comment asking how... You're asking a barber how long, how often you should get your hair cut. Now, if you're paying for your hair cut, of course the barber's going to tell you, man, come every... Come twice a week. <laughs> But I don't know what you look like, though. I don't know what kind of hair you got. I don't know what your profession is. Um, it all depends, man. It depends on what you're doing and what, what, you, what your life is like, right? Traditionally, you know, people say come to the barber every two weeks. I, I don't know where they get that from every, every two weeks. Maybe they get that from because most people get paid every two weeks, right? Um there has to be some kind of correlation with that. Um, should you get your hair cut every two weeks? Well, payday is every two weeks, right, for most people. But now we are in an economy where you can get paid every day, every night. You can get paid while you're sleeping. Um, you should be getting paid while you sleep. Uh, I got an uncle named Warren. My uncle Warren said, Uncle Warren Buffett, he said, if you don't find a way to make money while you're sleeping, you're going to be working until the day that you die. It's kind of vicious. But how often should you get your hair cut? Listen, man, if you are a cop, if you if you work with people, right? First impressions are everything, number one. If you are dealing with people, you should get at least a shape up every week. At least. You can come to the barber once to get a haircut and then the next week they get shaped up. I know it might go out your way. It might, you know, it takes time to go sit in the barber. A lot of barbers take appointments. Um, but it takes 15 minutes, man. I mean, it's, I, I guess it's like going to the gym, man. Most motherfuckers don't go to the gym. You know, we live, this gym is all over the place, man. Planet Fitness in every neighborhood and people can't go to the gym. You don't even gotta go to the gym. You can wake up in the morning and run around the block, do some push ups. But if your appearance means anything, like if you're dealing with people all the time, like if you might be a cop or you do real estate, you might be a teacher, um, the kids really don't care what you look like, but you're dealing with the parents and other teachers and principals. If you, if you do HVAC, and you go inside of people's homes. If you go inside of people's houses, it should be mandatory that you get a haircut, or your people who work for you or with you get a haircut. You gotta be, you gotta be first appearances. I hate, man. Now I'm saying this as I'm wolfing, right? I you you will say that I'm wolfing, but you know I'm, I'm growing my hair out, and you know I'm different, right? But once my hair is braided, I'm growing out to get braids again. Like before, I had braids coming down on my shoulders. But I'm growing my hair out again. And, uh, you know. But, uh, you know, if, if 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 you're a professional person, though, for real, for real, you got to get your hair cut at least. Let me see if I got any hair left. <laughs> You gotta come to the barber once a week. Now you probably be saying, oh man, you're just saying that because you're trying to get some money. I mean, you know, I'm a barber, man, so I get money, I cut hair. I save you some time, I cut your hair, I make you look good, and um, yeah, I get paid for it. But I'm working on something though where you can get your hair cut for free, and I cut your hair for free, you don't gotta worry about it, or drastically discount it. So if you pay, so let's say if you pay, let's say if you get your hair cut three times a month, you might spend about, let's say if you spend $100 a month on cutting your hair, getting your hair cut, just for you. I'm working on something that should be done this week where it'll be, it'll be half of that. So you can stay fresh all the time. Half the call, well, 60% off your haircuts. 60% off. And there's a way where you can even get it for free. 
And then we gotta do 60% off. Somebody got mad at me because he said I cussed in my videos. And I was spitting when I was smoking a cigar. Listen, if you get offended by cuss words, I didn't say he was a barber. First of all, barber shouldn't be watching my video, not on this channel. If you are a barber watching my channel on here, there's no reason why. Absolutely no reason why. Number two, if you get offended by me fucking cussing, you should definitely not watch my fun, my motherfucking videos. Because I cuss all fucking day long. I cuss in front of kids. I cuss in front of grandmoms and ladies. It's just a fucking word, God. You know what I mean? I mean, we ain't talking about fucking bitches and getting your dick sucked. We ain't, we ain't talking about that. Now, that's disrespectful. I wouldn't do that. But saying shit, motherfucker, and fuck. Fuck out of here. If you can't handle that, man, you shouldn't. You need to go. <laughs> I need to find a different planet to live on, that. Oh, shit. Anyway. I just want to make that quick video, man. I mean, you, you really can't go much into it. Oh, how much did you pay for a haircut? I mean, I don't know, man. It depends on how much you should pay, you know? I mean, I guess you can go by the area. And, but you don't want to pick a barber based on price, though. That's, number, that, that, that's the main thing. Don't pick a barber based on the price of the barber. I was talking to a client the other day. I'm like, yeah, man, you know, they got $12 haircuts up the street. And he didn't say he would never get a $12 haircut. He said, then it's, it's going to cost me $60 to get the fucking haircut. Because then I got to go get the haircut fixed. And I'm like, damn. I didn't think about that. But I'm like, yo, you right. Absolutely right. But, uh, so yeah. How much did you pay? I mean, I don't know. Whatever. Picture this. Use your haircut at picture your, your hair, your haircut, your appearance, your grooming, or whatever you want to call it, is an investment. Right? If you're a real estate agent, you better have a sharp haircut. I mean, whatever sharp means to you, but you better have your haircut before you do that open house. Before you go to the closing. You take pictures at your closing don't you? You take pictures at the open house, don't you? Videos? And how many people are going to be coming to the open house? You got your business card. You're going to, that's the only time you're going to get your hair cut? No. You're networking. You're talking to other mortgage agents. You're doing videos and stuff. Stay sharp. You're a lawyer. Stay sharp. You're in front of that judge. You're in front of the, sometimes a good haircut is intimidate a motherfucker. You know what I mean? You're going out on a date. You want Tinder or any of them fucking apps. You better have a sharp cut, man, when you go on there. Come see your barber. Take care of your barber. Listen, I, whatever your barber charges you, pay him more than what he charges you. Right? I don't know. You can do a double. You can do a 50% more. But pay him more than what he charges you. Because your barber will remember that. Your barber. Even your barber shop. But your barber, he'll remember that. Like, and, you know what I mean? He'll be like, okay, boy, take care of me. Let me make sure. I take my time, baby. And if you know you don't pay, you're still going to cut your hair. You might fuck around with you, you might have to. I mean, it all depends on who you go to. Man. You gotta be. It's it's scary going to a barber, man. It's scary going to a barber. Anyway, I'm getting sleepy. I'm about to get out of here. Um, I'll drop some more videos for you later, and I'll see you at the top. But pay your barber, take care of your barber. Man. I mean, what I don't go out to means. One hundred dollars is too much. If you get out, don't hurt yourself. 
remember, you got to get your hair cut every week, too. So, But it's an investment. And you better be fucking hustling and building on you. So we, we, we'll talk about that shit later, though. Anyway, I'll see you at the top. Peace.